Hey, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go, and we're taking a quick look at the uh, Yozikazu Tanaka uh, Algami R Blue Number One Gitto Two Ten Millimeter Knife. So uh, this knife, as you have seen in the title, has a core steel of Algami or Blue Paper Number One, which is a little unusual. Usually it's Number Two, so this is a, a Blue Number One. And heat treats between 62 to 64 Rockwell, depending on the particular batch that you got. And the construction is a soft iron cladding over that algami number one. So it's an all reactive blade from core and cladding. You've got a really nice old school kind of hand done finish to the blade grind or blade road, if you will, down to the edge. So you've got that real nice kind of old style hand done finish. And you can see that really cool pattern our wavy line where the cladding and the core steel meet and the polish to the core steel. You've got a uh, Kudauchi or blacksmith protective finish over the main blade before it starts hitting the grind. And then that, it's a little hard to show with the darker color, but you've got kind of a angle texture to that. And this does have hand chiseled or hand uh, engraved kanji on it. Very nicely done. You can run your fingers over it and feel that. Definitely a lot of character to this blade. So that's the left or the right side of the blade as you'd be holding it. Let's do this. And there's our shot. So let's take a look at the statistics on this. Well, vary a little bit from knife to knife, but uh, this particular knife has uh, a weight of 177 grams, or 6.2 ounces. Edge length is right about 200. These tend to run a little bit short from this uh, this region and the maker. So it's about 200 millimeters or 7.9 inches at the edge. Overall length, about 350 millimeters from tip to the end of the handle. The spine thickness, I got about, uh, it's got a fairly muscular grind to it. So I got about three millimeters coming out of the handle above the back of the cutting edge. About halfway down, I got about 2.8. And you can see it really doesn't lose too much thickness until you get to the grind. So there's your grind, starting there and there. And then it thins up about as thin as it's, it's kind of, again, it's pretty thin right at the very tip, but this has a bit of muscle to it. So this is not a dainty little laser. It's got some meat to the blade. It gets pretty thin at the edge. This facet here, there's one on each side, so they've uh, file down the choil this way and this way so it actually comes to a peak behind there slightly and uh, so they've done a really nice job finishing that off and they've got a little bit of finish to the edge as well on the spine so very nice fit and finish really straight clean grinds on this you can tell it's got a lot of care in the construction of this blade there's a lot of craftsmanship to it um, let's see it's quite stiff as you might guess so again it's got some muscle to it I'll give it a 6 out of 10 on my scale as far as edge goes. It's got a nice sharp edge out of the box. The handle is octagonal. It is a rosewood with a kind of a multicolored pack of wood ferrule on it. And then they've gotten a good, looks like a pretty tight uh, glue up job into the handle. Circumference on this is probably about 75, maybe 76 millimeters. Um, where the two materials meet. You can see the neck is fairly wide there. It's almost the width of the handle, So, but you got a good spot there. You've got some height to it. It's about 46 millimeters tall at the back of the blade, and so you got some height to it for uh, your clearance on the cutting board. Balance point. It's going to be with this handle. The handle's got a little length to it, as you can see. It's going to be the balance point right about there. The blade's got some mass to it, so that's a little bit in front of the pinch grip, uh, behind the pinch grip, so the pinch grip slightly in front of there, so it's pretty neutral. It's going to be a pretty neutral feel to it, and uh, again, just really nice fit and finish on this thing. So let's take a look at the cutting board. So here's what the cutting board looks like, and so what this knife has is, bring this back a little bit, So this knife has a pretty definite flat towards the back. So it kind of goes into a bit of a stop back here. Nice little section for chopping. You've got a fairly high tip regards the center line. So it's going to get pretty high on a rock. So this will rock really nice. 
you've got a fairly aggressive belly in that front third of the blade. And again, the tip is kind of more, a little more spear tip, gets you get a little higher center towards the center line of the blade. And so this will rock beautifully. You do have a nice little section at the back to chop on. And so this will accommodate quite a wide variety of techniques very nicely. And just a good overall use of that space. So again, this is an all reactive blade, but uh, extremely well crafted. Got a little bit of muscle to it if you like that style. And just a really nice package, highly, highly crafted and uh, great quality and fit and finish. So this is the uh, Yotsukazu Tanaka Aogami Number no. 1 Guto 210mm knife.